can address the in-laws and step-parents issue, I need to address the parents issue in our marriages. There's a wealth of knowledge. There's so many principles that govern our universe and the way things work, um, like gravity. You consider that a principle or you can consider it a law, but if you go against it, it's not going to work well for you. So there's so many things that go hand in hand with um, principles such as ones we are familiar with, like gravity, and ones we aren't familiar with, such as honor, um, the way that God created the universe and the way things work together, either work for us or work against us. Um, the best example I can give is the law and law enforcement. Um, if you love the police and you celebrate law enforcement and you see how having law and a constitution keeps you safe and gives you uh, values and opportunity for growth, um, it's a little easier to understand what I'm about to say. Um, if you see it as something that's overreaching and overbearing and um, holding you captive, um, then that will also explain what I'm about to say. Um, Problems in our marriages, many times, um, I've noticed a pattern, come from our dishonor for our own parents. No parents are perfect. Um, we've all had different levels of trauma and anguish and disappointment and regret about the way we were handled growing up or what our parents did or didn't do for us. But if we're walking around with a chip on our shoulder because of it, with bitterness and with anger, um, versus just looking at it like, you know, they did the best they could with what they know, um, then that's going to affect our relationship with our spouse. I noticed that a lot of struggling marriages, if not both of them, at least one of them, is still angry at their parents for doing something to them or not doing something to them. Look, you're here, you're alive, they could have aborted you. Just be grateful that you're here, that they gave you life. And when you can look at it that way and give them grace for being imperfect and try to have a relationship with them, even if it has to be distant, but if you keep that honor and that respect, um, it's going to give you another level of honor and respect for yourself, which in turn is going to allow your mates, uh, your spouse, to honor and respect you, and you guys are going to feel each other, understand each other better, and take your relationship to a new level. So that's my challenge for you today. We'll talk about in-laws and step-parents um, probably in the next video, but honor is a law of the universe just like gravity. It's either working for you or it's working against you. Love you guys. Book comes out spring 2020, Growing Your Marriage into Growing Your Relation. What is the name of my book? I've said it so many times now. <laughs> growing Your Marriage into a Mature. Nope, that's not it either. I'm going to have to edit this video.